it's a clean video. What's going on, guys? Millennium here for Operation Sports, breaking down the first gameplay vlog for MLB The Show 17. Uh, what we're seeing here is the gameplay improvements and animations expansion. Um, some very cool things to come out of this. You're going to hear me chatting with some people. That's because this is being broadcast live on Twitch right now. Uh, about an uh, hour and a half after it's been after the vlog's been released. Make sure you go follow our Twitch for live. The link is underneath. But let's get right to this, guys. Let's start. Hi, everyone. The foundation ML okay, right there, we see Jose Ramirez and Francisco Lindor. The new and updated Francisco Lindor give it a little uh, new emotion in the, uh, in the dugout. Dugout looks a lot better. Um... I know the dugouts that got an upgrade last year. I think the phones here look pretty good. You see the in the, the cups over here, um, in the bottom right, where probably where my head is right now. Uh, again, all of that looking very much more detailed than it did last year. But again, the key here is Lindor with an updated haircut, um, updated face model. It looks like, and then Jose Ramirez here again. We're gonna go right back and look at this again real quick. Everyone. The foundation handshake in the dugout what they're talking about is something very specific to uh the indians so that's a good start for them i'm very excited to see what's going on uh let's let's continue this sunglasses by the way don't look they might be new i'm not 100 percent sure on that but they, they, it's possible the sunglasses lindor is wearing right now may be different um, don't look at anything that I've seen before, so. Let's keep going this here. Game will always be gameplay. With that in mind, let's take... Right here, uh, just to say, gameplay has always been king, again, when it comes to MLB The Show. It's no surprise they're leading with gameplay improvements. Um, it, it's one of the things they lead with every year. And as you see this video goes on, you're going to continue to see very specific complaints over in the community about MLB 16 addressed in this video. That's one of the things that I thought was very, uh, very sincere and very, I was a little in awe of the fact that they came out and immediately went after some of the biggest issues of MLB 16 they show off in here. So let's keep going. Take a look at some of the improvements you can look forward to in the game. You see right there, uh, the steel, the new, new balance cleats being shown off again. Uh, the red one's right here in front of Rizzo. I'm not sure who that is. Um, also, let's see here. I don't see anything else different here. We're talking about the new hitting. The foundation MLB The Show was built on is and will always be gameplay. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the improvements you can look forward to. Again, New Balance. Gameplay and animation reel. Okay, glove looks the same. Those are the Nikes. I think those are the trout, the lunar trouts that he's wearing right there. Uh, nothing new here. Nice animation. Nothing I, I don't think we haven't seen before. This year we so you see your ball physics. Um, again, we saw the same the the compression sleeve uh, doing that. The compression sleeve was uh, last year, but. New ball physics, one thing you'll hear them talk about is the fact that the bat is round and the ball is round this year. That should help this, but let's watch. Greatly increase the variety of hits possible in the show. There are curving and slicing grounders down the lines, bloops, Texas leaguers. Okay, so again, right here you see a Texas leaguer. Something that wasn't, um, was, was not prevalent enough last year texas league hits uh floaters over the second baseman like you see here back this up just a second and obviously one thing that was completely missing last year hits possible in this hit right here there are that i i would i'd break my i would break my controller i would break my controller if that happened to me but that being said what you're seeing is spin off the ball as the ball goes away from the hitter. You're also seeing the next shot curving around a base. Again, new. Things that they couldn't do last year because, as you'll hear them say, it was like the ball was hitting a wall, a flat wall. So round ball, flat wall um, last year. This year it is round ball, 
round bat. Gonna make a difference, so let's see. Curving and slicing grounders down the lines, bloops, Texas leaguers, and top spin line drives, just to name a few. Nice All right, you see that curve right there? Rutgers, thank you so much for the follow. You see the, uh, the ball trajectory gives a curve and actually if you watch the outfielder i know a lot of people watched the ball here try to watch the outfielder here texas leaguers and top spin line drives just to name a few all generated by i want you to see the outfielder changes direction that's big this year last year they introduced bad lines to the ball this outfielder didn't go directly for the wall this outfielder went a step the curve beat him, and then he turned around. So, again, bad routes. You'll hear them talk about it some more. Great to see that adds more of a human atmosphere, a human element to the CPU. An accurate model of the ball spinning off of a bat. In previous versions of the show... Better look at the New Balance cleats right there on Carlos Santana. Um... I mean, they look really nice. One thing I did notice, um, if you look at this end right here, it almost looks embossed, whereas a lot of the gear last year looked flat. That end looks like an actual stitching on the cleat. So um, I'm hoping to see that. We saw that in the um, hat, the, designate, the way the hats were designed. If you watched that video on OS last year, this, this is close to that, so... We were modeling the spin that would occur if the ball had hit a wall instead of a bat. Our new accurate model is a game changer. The location and spin of the pitch, angle of the bat, and launch velocity are all factored into the spin, allowing for more realistic and varied ball f And as you see there, what, what are these talking about with the spin? That's going to lead to more doubles down the line and into foul territory. Um, a lot, one of the complaints last year was balls hit down the line are not doubles enough. Um, this is going to help that because if a ball hooks around the uh, first base or third base bag, outfielder is going to have longer to go. We're going to see more doubles out of that. So get look forward to that. Look forward to your fielding ratings as corner outfielders and arm ratings mattering more because of that. A guy like, I don't know, Mookie Betts may not be as good in right field because of his arm as opposed to like a Yenis Cespedes uh, would be an excellent addition to your corner outfield flight pass. Physics is tuned using real-world video and measured home run distances to accurately model the path of flight, temperature, and altitude. Right there, again, watch this ball path as it, as it takes travel off of Machado's bat. For flight, temperature, and altitude effects. That last year, um, you don't get to see where it lands, that last year is an out. It's a line drive out to the left fielder. Look at the top spin. Look at the spin towards the line. That doesn't happen last year. Watch, this ball looks like it's going to drop. Temperature and altitude effects. MLB The Show 17 has the most dynamic... Again, the Lunar Trouts on the cleats. Dynamic hit variety ever in the franchise. There are hundreds of thousands of new possibilities this year. We're injecting more humanity into our artificial intelligence this year. The AI will behave even more like a human. Taking a quick look at Dodger Stadium, nothing too new, uh, does look a little cleaner in the outfield, like the actual uh, crowd out here, even though it's a little further away, I get that. Examples include not always running to the exact spot on balls hit off. Talked about this earlier, not getting to the exact spot, not taking the best line adds again the human element back to uh, computer players. You also get to see a decent shot of the New Balance here in blue. Examples include. See right there, uh, Jose Bautista in blue, so pretty good. Blue, not always running to the exact spot on balls hit off the wall. CPU step off timing variety. Now I want you to watch this. One of the things I've always preached in this game is, especially head to head, but against the computer too, your pitcher's cadence matters. Your pitcher's cadence, so what cadence I mean is, if you hold the ball for one second, and then hold the ball for three seconds, and then hold the ball for two seconds, it affects the computer jump. This makes it look like it's going to be a larger part of gameplay this year. So definitely think about that. That's this cat and mouse gameplay they're talking about. 
fake throw timing variety and rundowns. Again, guy leaves early, pitcher steps off, makes the right play. I want you to remember this. The pitcher does not immediately throw. He runs at it first. Base runner and throw decisions. The goal is to continue our pursuit and having the AI. I want you to look at this very carefully. I'm going to turn the volume down here because I want to analyze this for a second. Base runner and throw decisions. Right here. You see the undercut. Oh, you can't see it here. Let me, let me just make sure you can see it here, guys. The undercut of the outfield right here. Or the infield. The cut of the infield. This is not a bunt defense. Okay? This is a backed defense. Chris Bryant is at the very best halfway. I'm going to assume that this is a fully back defense from Chris Bryant. Um, let's see here again. We can't see anybody else. Again, his bunt is not down yet, but you will see this. Bunting was one of the biggest problems last year. You see Chris Bryant barehand that ball. He's out by three steps, mind you. Three steps on that, okay? That is, so a, a infield urgency for the third baseman. You got Chris Bryant starting back, going in for a bunt. Last year, that's a hit. Or at the very, very best last year, that's out by half a step. I want you to, again, one more time, see how far he is out by. Instead of seeming to know exactly what's going to happen on... Watch that. Three steps. One, two, uh, two steps. He's two steps out. That's not something you get to see last year. That is an excellent view. We will need to see more of that in the live stream Thursday. I want them to show us bunting. What still worries me about bunting is it might be too easy to bunt. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's too easy to bunt. But if fielding makes up for that, we might that might be okay. So let's continue to go here. Base paths can terrorize the defense if not dealt with appropriately. The systems that relate to pickoffs, still attempts. Again, you see here, uh, that gold on this, on D. Gordon's necklace looks a lot better than it did last year. So let's keep going with that. Tags and the catcher attempting to throw a runner out all get more focus in the show 17. Today we'll just focus on the catcher throwing meter. Be this is new. You see this right here, this throwing meter. Um, it looks like they're going to uh, institute the button accuracy meter for fielders into catcher throwing. The one thing I hope, I hope this becomes a option. MLB The Show and Sony San Diego is very good about making options. I hope this, uh, I hope this allows it to be turned on and off, like button accuracy fielding. I don't want this all the time. There are people that would rather see the catcher be done by ratings. I, like again, so I hope this is this is something that you know is back and forth be sure to join us on the gameplay live stream for more details the catcher throwing meter was introduced to give you more control on nice the throw still attempts the meter works like right here guys you see the new layout over on the right hand side um i saw this the new uh score ticker the new score bug is white i think that's really clean um i like it, it looks that the speed and steel I hope that shows up for the guy on second base too. That's a miss that they've had for a couple of years now. I want to be able to see the speed and steal numbers for the guy on second base without pausing the game. Also, online, in this view, let me look back. Let me see, if, I, if I'm in a broadcast view, if I'm in a picture view, please let me look backwards. I want to be able to see that, uh, that step off. I want to be able to see what his lead is, oh, specifically for head-to-head. -head. I do like this a lot. The white, I like a lot. This, the moment you notice they still a tip is being made, hold down or tap the triangle button to start. By the way, this is not an on-screen thing for the game. This is something they added into the video. You will not see that little layout. That, that is something they added just for this video. Start the meter. If you're holding down on triangle, let it go when you see the accuracy bar rising to the green sweet spot for an accurate throw. Your catcher's arm accuracy attribute will...
I'm going to pause it here just for one second. I know I got a lot of Cleveland Indians fans that um, are always looking for issues with this part of the field. Let me know. Uh, either in the comments on YouTube or on Twitch. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit the Operation Sports on Twitter. Let me know if this is right. I know you guys had issues with the flag court or something like that. Let me know if this, fi is, if this is fixed for you. Shrink nice or grow the size Carl, of the sweet this. spot and how hard uh, the catcher throws to the you. base will be decided by his arm strength attribute. In closing, with the addition of the new catcher throwing meter and cat and mouse gameplay, you can expect more control and granular. Perfect. If you're not in the green, it causes a bad throw. That is something I like. I like the extra control. Again, I hope it's an option, but I do like the extra control, guys. Clarity on the base path this year. All right, this is a big one, guys. Catch and throw engine. We know last year that infielder urgency was a problem and outfielder fly balls was a... Uh, some people aren't going to like me hear me say that. I think the outfielder fly balls were a smaller problem than infielder urgency. Uh, shortstops not making routine plays was a major problem last year. This is their fix for that. Also, remember, outfielder... We're, gonna, we're not going to see anything about the outfielder catching... I think they're going to go specifically into that Thursday. Let's hope that's what that, that shows up Thursday because I think it's going to be a, a tweaking of the system in addition to um, education on jogging to the ball instead of running as hard as you can. The show 17 introduces a new... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rewinding this. Just because it's Manny, guys. Manny Machado, it's not a new animation, it's just Manny. The show 17 introduces a new, more sophisticated system. That does look a little quicker, though. I will say that. That looks a little quicker. Uh, the, the transition here, a lot of the jump throws last year, especially from shortstop, seemed a little slow. Watch the ball to the hand here. The show 17 introduces a new, more sophisticated that's an elite play. That's an elite play from an elite fielder. So let's hope that continues. System and hundreds of new animations. You will no longer have to worry about players taking their time when they shouldn't. This is not Sim. Billy Hamilton didn't bunt. Timing issues with on the run catches that result in batters beating out routine types of plays, lobbing throws. I want to show that again real quick. Again, we've got Billy Hamilton on the right-hand side. One of the fastest. Actually, I think he is the fastest guy. So let's continue this. You will no longer have to worry about players taking their time when they shouldn't. Timing issues. All right, now watch. The one on the left is a slow runner. The one on the right is a fast runner. With on the run catches that result in batters beating out routine types. Perfect. You see that urgency? I'll show it to you one more time. Left, slow, right, fast. You see on the left-hand one, the shortstop takes his time, gets a nice little sidearm throw, little Cal Ripken in there for you Orioles fans. But on the right, you see very quick, off the back foot, sidearm, as quickly as you can possibly get it there. So let's go. Oh, wait a second. That's a good catch. Who got that? B Brewer in chat. Look at Billy Hamilton down here. That is Adidas. Adidas cleats on Billy Hamilton. This is not Billy Hamilton on both sides, guys. This is not Billy Hamilton on both sides. No longer have to worry about players taking their time when they shouldn't. Timing issues with on the run catches that result in bad. Love it. Out Love it. Of plays, lobbing throws, or throws coming out too hard from short distances. This is another one right here that I hated when you played shortstop. Um, you'd throw that ball from about three feet away and you'd fire it in there as quickly as you can. Uh, this is a nice little easy lob. Yeah, it looks like a new Billy Hamilton stance. Good catch, Red Goose. Um, for the double play. Double play interactions were better last year. They need to be even better this year. This shows they're on the right step nice for that. Work. Carl, bump my fist. The system is smarter and way more efficient. With our all-new multi-branch system, you'll see a variety of throws that come from the same... I want you to see this. This is something they missed a little bit last year. Jason Hayward, his momentum is taking him one way, but he has to change to make the throw. I think this is going to put an emphasis on user interaction in the outfield. You have to take a good line 
to make good throws on fly balls this year. That's going to be key online, I think. You know what? Even against the computer, if you're controlling an outfielder, this line, you have to make a good line. Set yourself up correctly. If you're throwing to third base, it's a different line than when you're throwing home. You have to learn this. There will be a learning curve to this, guys. Be prepared for this. Or throws coming out too hard from short distances. The system is smarter and way more efficient with our all new multi All right, right here. Here's what you're going to get. Guys, by the way, that little that little uh, sound clip is the follow on Twitch. I apologize for that for you guys on YouTube. But again, Jason Hayward coming in at one angle, catching the ball, changing angles, and throwing. Watch this. System, you'll see a variety of throws that come from the same catch, depending on when you throw the ball as the catch is being made. We now listen to that. Depending on when you throw the ball, it looks like... Or it sounds like from that comment, and we'll learn more Thursday, that you will be able to release the throw button at different times this year. It won't just be preloading. You may have like a late animation throw you want to make. So it, that sounds like there's something you might be adding. So let's go. Let let's let's listen to that one more time. I want to hear Ramon say that. Be more efficient. With our all-new multi-branch system, you'll see a variety of throws that come from the same catch, depending on when you throw the ball as the catch is being made. We balance all of our... So, there you go. I have somebody in chat telling me that Wrigley's bullpen renovation looks like it might be in. Um, guys in chat or guys on YouTube, let me know if you see that. Throws to make Sorry, we are live. That's dogs. Sure, they're more reflective of the actual arm speed. I really like this for one reason, and this is something again more ball physics. But watch that ball. Progressive Field finally has the tarp. That's my Cleveland guy. So, uh, one of the Cleveland fans, Burris in, in the chat room, Extreme Gamer, says that he saw Cleveland finally has the tarp at Progressive Field. That's why I brought that up. But on this, watch Lindor throw this ball, even on an easy ball. He sidearms, so you get that tail from shortstop that if you're a baseball player or a softball player, you know when you throw that ball, you get that tail. So let's go. From the same catch, depending on when you throw the ball as the catch is being made. We balance all of our throws to make sure they're more reflective of the actual arm speed Perfect. and arm slot in the animation. The end result but now look at that ball. I know it's a little off camera, or, or it's a little off angle. But watch this ball. Watch the angle. Watch the power. This is infield urgency at work. All of our throws to make sure they're more reflective of the actual arm speed and arm slot in the animation. The end result. Ooh, that is so pretty. That's that's a pretty animation from Lindor right there. Is a catch and throw engine that's more responsive with. Hey guys, uh, this this one's for you, Owen. Good. Three six one double play anybody or three six three technically, but. This is the 361 that that remember the 361 double plays? Let shortstop. Hey, let me throw this lollipop over there because I don't know what to do with it. Much less exports. In addition to a much larger variety of animations for every situation. We've added even more team specific. This I'm excited for. Um, I said this before that baseball and basketball are the two sports where personality really shines on the field because of your it, the intimate uh, nature of basketball courts tend to be right on the on the court. Fans tend to be right on the court. Baseball fields, fans tend to be right on the field. Um, whereas NFL fields are kind of off. Even hockey stadiums, you have a glass. As crazy as it sounds, you have glass separating you. This is emotion. You need more motion in baseball. This does that. And player specific home run sequences, post game player and team specific animations as well. The show 17 includes over 350 new and redone batting stances, over 300 new and redone pitching motions. It's another view of Cleveland. Cleveland's got a beautiful stadium. Last and certainly not least, we've motion captured over one. Uh. Are those new for the Padres, those mustard uniforms? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thousand new gameplay animations. That's all for now. The outfielders aren't jumping together after a win. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it says, looks like Gomez's stance is fixed. There you go. Mustard is in. Yeah, the, must the mustard uh, Padres uniforms are in.
be sure to join us for the gameplay and retro mode deep dive. I like that. I like the different handshakes. I'm I'm really I'm really crazy. Uh like with that, I love the handshakes. Um, in Baltimore, we get to see Machado, Adam Jones, and Jonathan Scope go through a million of them a year. So I, I love seeing this kind of stuff. Dive live stream on Twitch. We'll discuss everything in right here, guys. Uh, let me make sure my head's not in the way, real quick. Actually, it is. So hold on one second. Uh, you guys see the live stream is this Thursday. Nice work, Carl. Bumpers. Two o'clock. Oh, Mister, I was gonna fist you. Two o'clock Pacific time. That is five o'clock East Coast, guys. Make sure you set your alarms nice so you work, see this. Carl, bump my fist. Oh, Mister, I was gonna fist you. Let's continue with the last couple of seconds Let's here. Blog in more detail. Uh, center fielder looks like those are new cleats, possibly. I can't tell. Let me get a better look at this real quick. Uh, 40th anniversary patch on the Mariners, possibly. We've motion captured over 1,000 new gameplay animations. All right, again, those are the Lunar Trouts, I think, on the right fielder. That's all for now. Be sure to join us for the gameplay and retro mode deep dive live stream on Twitch. We'll uh, yellow sunglasses, I think those are new on the uh, guy to the right there. Discuss everything in this. Those right there. Those look like new cleats. I cannot confirm that. But those do look like new cl What glove does Pence have on? What glove? Does anyone know what that glove is? Detail. It might- it looks kind of like a Rawlings, but... Let's see if we can get a 1080p of that. It looks, uh, that might be Rawlings, I might be wrong. Live stream on Twitch. We'll discuss everything in this blog in more detail. And, and right there, I, I can't tell guys. I want to say that, is that a Rawlings, is that the Rawlings glove? Okay. It looked different for me for a second. I don't know why. Um, are the new era, the new era tags on the side of the hats new too? New era tags on the side of the hats, so. Um, other than that, equipment looks okay. Answer any of your gameplay questions. See you guys on the stream. Uh, Franklin, we already knew about those. Nothing new in this one. The problem is, is they love to put Easter eggs in these things, guys, so it's really hard to catch all of them. There you go, boys. March 28th. Okay, again, we're going to end this real quick right now. Just wanted to do a quick breakdown of the entire trailer. Thank you for stopping by. Um, we'll be streaming again later tonight, a little NHL, but... Again, the show comes out March 28th. This was a vlog, the very first gameplay vlog on Tuesday. This Thursday, February 9th, 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. We will have a live stream from Sony. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I think they were an hour or two last year. Um, we'll be around to break that down, too. We'll also be breaking it down on our bullpen.